Dear colleagues, dear friends, we are back with a new episode of uh, BG Dental Tips and this time I will show you amazing tricks, amazing tips that will be really helpful in your composite practice. So if you are a big fan of composite restorations, put like to this video, comment where are you from by the way, because we are really uh, looking forward to see uh, how many countries are uh, watching us and uh, specialists from different places are uh, staying with us as well. So the trick is about a specific silicon index that you can modify to create different types of effects with incisal edge or tooth profile. Original technique is from Brazil. You can see Bertoldo Ricci and Berotti BRB matrix and that's a game changer in uh, class 4 and even class 3 diastema cases with direct composite restorations. Let's go! So this technique you can use when you have some kind of defects on the incisal edge. For example, the tooth was broken or there is a trauma or old restoration. So you'd like to modify the tooth to make it bigger. You make the tooth wider when you have uh, the uh, diastema case. And I would like to show you now clinical video step by step where you can see how actually it looks like and works. The silicon index that will include existing clinical situation like that. Okay, so I don't do anything else. I just made my silicon index with this appearance. So basically I will take silicon and I will make some modification with the silicon. So I will make See, so we can modify our silicon index with a bore. And then you can do whatever you want with a silicon index, by the way. For example, let me also simulate the uh, way we can make a teeth longer, if, if needed. You have to be careful, by the way, in uh, these kind of cases, when you really want to make teeth longer, because you will interfere occlusion. But I would like just to show you that it's possible, just by simple modifying of the silicon with your bore okay so they sil the bore this uh, we call it dime uh, multi-bladed carbide creates pretty soft surface we use the same principle as i showed you last time we cut our incisal zone from vertical direction so sorry horizontal direction to keep around 1.5 millimeter of the enamel if we if we imitate a normal type of translucency. If I place silicon index, I can mark where I need to place enamel. Okay, so uh, you can see that uh, after you modify silicon index, you perform this line to create the outline for the composite. Then you place your composite, enamel, body shade, it's up to you. It's actually not up to you, it's up to the uh, opacity of the restoration. You go there, you polymerize, and then you can your, get your incisal edge and the, in the, in the proximal profile, then you can place your matrix recreate the proximal wall and then you can do your dentin mamelons and whatever whatever so you can see that uh, the idea of the index is amazing this is the article original article by the authors which you can read uh, in internet and i hope that this video and this technique will actually help you to become better and to make your professional life easier so my friends again i would like to ask you don't forget to put like to this video to sign up to our YouTube channel and uh, maybe you have some interesting uh, tips and tricks related to class 4 composite restoration using special metrics. Please share here in the comments. I think that everybody will benefit from your experience and you will contribute into the dental education global wise. Stay strong my friends and may the dental force be with you.